Welcome to Biotanime. Primary structure of protein. Amino acids are the basic building blocks of proteins. Their structure consists of three main groups. Amino group or N-terminus. The carboxyl group or C-terminus. The R group which contains the functional component of the amino acid. Primary protein structure is when amino acids bound together via covalent peptide bonds to form a polypeptide chain. Peptide bonds are amide bonds between the alpha carboxyl group of one amino acid and the alpha amino group of another. These bonds are highly resistant to heat or chemicals. Ramachandran plot. In a polypeptide the main chain NC-alpha and C-alpha C bonds relatively are free to rotate. These rotations are represented by the torsion angles, phi and psi, respectively. G. N. Ramchandran used computer models of small polypeptides to systematically verify and psi to find the stable conformations. Phi and psi angles which cause atoms to collide correspond to sterically disallowed conformations of the polypeptide backbone. In the diagram, the white areas correspond to conformations where atoms in the polypeptide come closer than the sum of their van der Waals radii. These regions are sterically disallowed for all amino acids, except glycine. The red regions correspond to conformations where there are no steric clashes. These are the allowed regions namely the alpha helical and beta sheet conformations. The yellow areas show the allowed regions if slightly shorter van der Waals radii are used in the calculation, that is the atoms are allowed to come a little closer together. This brings out an additional region which corresponds to the left-handed alpha helix. Secondary structure of protein. Secondary protein structure is the repetitive folding of polypeptide chains by hydrogen bonds between the hydroxyl group and the hydrogen molecule of the adjacent amino acid, leading to the unique shape of the protein. The most common examples are alpha helix and beta pleated sheets. Alpha helix. The alpha helix secondary structure is formed through hydrogen bonding. These hydrogen bonds connect the carbonyl oxygen of one amino acid residue to the nitrogen of a peptide bond four amino acids away. There are approximately 3.6 amino acids per turn in each alpha helix, or one residue per 100 degrees rotation. Amino acids are spaced 1.5 a apart. Most all alpha helices are right-handed. Beta sheets. Beta sheets are formed through interstrand hydrogen bonding between beta strands. This means that hydrogen bonds form between amino and carbonyl oxygens in the polypeptide backbones of two separate strands. There are two forms of beta sheets, parallel and antiparallel. In the parallel beta sheets the polypeptide chains are oriented in the same direction. The way in which hydrogen bonding between amino and carbonyl groups is strained due to a lack of direct interaction. In antiparallel beta sheets the polypeptide chains are oriented in opposite directions. In this beta sheet formation, the hydrogen bonds are stronger due to more direct alignment between amino and carbonyl groups. As a result, antiparallel beta sheets are more stable. Tertiary structure. The tertiary structure of a protein refers to the overall three-dimensional arrangement of its polypeptide chain in space. For more information please check on this video. Quaternary structure. Some protein complexes composed of several subunits also have a quaternary structure, which contains information on how different protein subunits are arranged with respect to one another. One of the main examples is hemoglobin. The quaternary structure of hemoglobin allows it to bind to not just one but four oxygen molecules. Additionally, when one subunit of hemoglobin binds to an oxygen molecule, this triggers conformational changes in the protein, making it easier for the other subunits to bind to oxygen, too, thus increasing the protein effectivity. Proteins with a quaternary structure can be classified into homo-multimeric and hetero-multimeric. Homo-multimeric proteins are those that have identical protein subunits. Example connections. Homo-multimeric protein. Each subunit is produced by the same gene. Hetero-multimeric proteins, they have different protein subunits. Example, hemoglobin. 
different genes are needed to produce the different subunits. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and share. See you again in a new topic.